welcome to um, Psychic Medium Tony Green. However, this is a um, we're going to do a manifestation meditation tonight, and I will get to that in a second. Um, for those of you who are tuning in because you have questions about yourself or loved ones, I might answer one or two of the questions, but I will probably be focused very much on the manifestation meditation that we are all going to do here together tonight. So the manifestation meditation, this is a meditation I use when I really want something and it has worked amazingly, whether it be something with health, something in the physical world, whatever it is, I have used this manifestation many times and it has been very, very powerful. So while we're getting ready for the manifestation, I would um, ask everybody to think of two or three things that they would like to manifest. Now, we're doing this on the night of the new moon because it's, you know, hypothesized, super size, uh, superstitionized, I don't know, whatever word you want to use, that with, when there's a new moon, as the new moon grows, so do the things that we want. I just manifest whenever th there is something. I don't wait for a new moon or a full moon. I just, if there's something, I sit back and I start manifesting. The process I'm going to take you through is a literal like relaxation, visualization technique. You can use it tonight for one thing. You can come back and listen to it tomorrow night for another thing the next night for another thing, tomorrow morning when you wake it, wake up, put it on and listen to it for yet another thing. If you do have questions or you want to make connections to loved ones, I will be on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time to take care of that for you. Um, I might answer while everybody's getting together what they want to manifest, I'm going to answer one or two uh, YouTube questions. So the first one is from Kylie. Kylie wants to know about her mom who is in the hospital and not doing well, and neither is she. Her mom's name is Norma, and she's 63, and she's in Indiana. Kylie, can you please tell me what, what is she in the hospital for? Um, I'm going to give you the best that I can, but I'm not going to make any promises, Kylie, because when people are in the hospital, they have free will and they have really difficult choices to make while they're in the hospital. And because it is a medical thing, I have to be very careful with uh, YouTube. If I say certain things, they will just take my show down. So I have to be careful. Kylie, if you tell me why she's in the hospital, I'll be able to tap in better and give you some information. Hey, Kermit Karen. Hey, um, Pine Lake Apartments. I am so sorry, Pine Lake Apartments. I did not see your question this afternoon. I apologize for that so much. Um, broken ribs and went on dialysis because kidney's failing. Okay, yeah, she's not. Um... Oh, Kylie. Okay, Kylie, during the meditation, let's, I would like you to bring white light through her whole entire body. But at this point, I think something is a little too far along for it to obviously cannot be reversed, um, but something is too far along and the, I think you already know what the outcome is going to be. I would say just spend as much time as you can with her and make sure that you are uh, saying all those things that you would want to say to her. I don't think this is going to be anything that happens overnight or in you know, whatever, but just 
uh, take this time to really um, have quality time with her and have conversations, do some video recordings of her, video record conversations with her, anything she would want to say to anybody else, anything you would want to hear later on. Um, I'm not saying there's going to be that this is for sure the outcome, but as of right now, it's not looking the strongest because she just doesn't have a lot of strength with her right now. Okay. Um, blessings to you, Kylie. In about two minutes, we're going to get started with the meditation. I want to make sure that everybody has time to think of one or two things that they can really um, want for this meditation to bring into their life. Now, the one thing I'm going to say is if you're thinking of something you want to bring into your life, please make sure you can visualize it. For this meditation, the visualization is so important. If there is someone that you want to have part of this meditation, let's just say like Kylie and her mom, you can imagine this person and bring light and love into them at the same time as long as it's good and of, of your god and um manifesting it's a-okay um it's like saying a prayer of healing for them and they will accept what they can and what is in their highest interest you're not changing any outcomes we're not allowed to do that for other people if you are manifesting a partner which a lot of us are single and would love a partner if you are manifesting a partner, please don't try to manifest a specific person, okay? Instead, manifest the characteristics that you would want in this person and the um, integrity that you would want in this person. There are a lot of other things you can put on that list, but please don't let it be one specific person because if that's not your destined or outcome person, it, it might not turn out the way you want it to. If anybody has any questions about the meditation itself, please put them in the side. Um, in the comments, if you are watching live on YouTube. Um, if we have time, I've slotted 60 minutes for this. If we have time after the meditation, I will take some questions. I will answer some, some uh, connections for you to other people on the other side. Um, during the meditation, I'm not expecting anyone. Um, it should be very, very quiet in my background. I And please try to keep it quiet in your background. You might not want to do the actual meditation if you are driving. You might want to listen to it later. And yes, you can listen to this. And I think I may have already said this, but just in case I didn't, you can manifest one thing today and then listen to it every day and put something else in it or listen to it um, once a week or as you fall asleep and put things and, and manifest new things and uh, to bring them in. When I'm personally manifesting, I do it as I'm falling asleep. And so half the time I don't even consciously know what I'm manifesting. <laughs> I might fall asleep in the middle of a manifestation. That would explain my last boyfriend. I forgot to, to put it. I'm joking. That's a joke. I hope everybody's laughing. Oh no, it, it was a good situation. Don't, I'm not, I'm not knocking anything. Um, but if if you're manifesting, um, I manifest while I'm falling asleep because the deeper you can go into this, the more in the in between, in between space you are. And the in between space is the space where we're not asleep, but we're not awake. But that's where we can create the most magic um, in our lives. I always say our mind is the projector and the world is the screen. So if we can go into that very, very beautiful space of our mind with no other interruptions, and we can start writing a movie about our life and how we want it to look, 
um, and how we want it to come out, um, then the projector will start to make that happen. Now, once I manifest something, I don't go around thinking about it all day long or updating it or saying, did I do it wrong? I just put it out into the universe and I let everybody on the other side take care of the details, meaning the angels are, if you believe in spirit guides, if you believe in God or whatever you call God, my loved ones, whomever is in charge. And believe me, each of those things are bring in different Things. So if I ask, if I were to ask, um, you know, I'm trying to manifest, let's just say a brand new car. Um, and then I ask, it is, it, are the angels in charge of this? And then I might manifest to them. But tonight, we're not going to do that. We're going to keep it super easy peasy. And we're going to let um, them on the other side, angels, spirit guides, um, God, uh, universe, whatever you call it, creator, creation pick up that energy and run with it. Now, the reason I say you need to be able to visualize it, if you cannot visualize it, it's going to be really difficult to bring it into your, your projector. Again, you're projecting something. Everything that has come in very quickly, I've been able to visualize maybe not the whole thing, but at least part of it. So if I wanted a vehicle, and I did. And I would see, um, I wanted it in all black with leather. I'd be able to see a leather seat. I'd be able to see the dashboard. I didn't have to see the whole vehicle to be able to manifest it. I didn't say what type of vehicle. I didn't say, I want a Jeep Grand Cherokee. I, I would say instead, an SUV. And if I, however, the terms I wanted on that, if I wanted to receive it as a gift, I didn't say as a gift, I would say, I just don't, I don't want to pay for this, not even the taxes, but I want it to be brand new. Now, the second part of this manifestation is that works for me because I know that's possible. And I believe in that personally, I, every beautiful vehicle I've had, I never paid a penny for that's my belief system. There are others that do not believe in that. Don't manifest that then. You have to manifest <clears throat> you have to manifest what you personally believe. Otherwise it won't work. This is your manifestation. I'm guiding you. If you um want to bring in extra money, please if you want to say I want to win the the Powerball lottery, Make sure you play, but also make sure you know that millions of other people are trying to manifest that. And it might take a minute for it to get to you because, you know, the CIA and all. And if you know, you know. <laughs> um, but it might be better to say, and I have done this, to say, I would like the money to purchase a house. I would like the money to start a business. I would like this amount of money to come in however it can. And what again, whatever is comfortable for you. I can't tell you what you're comfortable receiving. And you can start uh, the manifestation tonight with this comfort zone. And within a week, within a week, you could be at a completely different comfort zone. Like tonight, you might be like, I'm going to manifest like a hundred dollars because I think that's fair if that's not asking too much. And then all of a sudden next week, because while I'm talking, I'm going to be clearing everything. I'm going to be clearing. Let's start right now. Anything stopping or blocking you from receiving your manifestations <laughs> has cleared, healed and released. I can tell you it has not. So let's start healing. I can't even breathe. It's like a punch to the chest. Come on, guys. Uh, let's heal, clear, release that. Now, you might be nervous to manifest something. And I'm, I'm, I used to teach manifestation programs in many different places, um, recreation centers, schools, my, my office, many, many times. One of the main things I would tell people is if you're asking money for money, be open to how it comes to you. 
Don't have judgment on it. Everything comes from above. Did that? That didn't look right. Everything comes from above and everything comes that you ask for. It might surprise you how it comes. So please be comfortable with however they bring it to you. So if you are, let's just say, asking for finances and you're gifted money, don't say no. Don't go, oh, no, I, I can't take that from you. Didn't you ask? Do you expect God or your angel to drop a bucket of money in your lap? Because nine times out of 10, and I'm going to tell you guys a story. This is a true story. We would look for the owner of that. So there's this family driving down the street or they went someplace. Anyway, they find a, a bag of money with a million dollars in it. This is on the news in some state. And they they turned it in. Now, if they had been praying for a million dollars, who's to say God didn't put that there for them? But they said, this must be, and it was all bills and in a bag. And who knows? <laughs> Who knows, right? Who knows? But they turned it into the police and said, hey, we found this. So my point is, if you are, make sure you're comfortable for whatever comes to you and whenever it comes to you in the timing it comes. You may ask for $10,000 tonight and you may get a start off of 500 because that's what you're comfortable with. You may get an incredible business idea that you can start up right away that makes you thousands and even more than 10,000 immediately. You can get a uh, uh, $1,000 and then if you take that graciously and gratefully and then the rest comes in in the same or similar way or in a brand new way, just be open to receiving however it comes no matter who it comes from, okay? And don't do anything illegal for it, yada, yada. Bylaws be bylaws, and I'm not encouraging illegal activity here, okay? Although I do have to say our world has changed so much. There is not much that's illegal anymore. So, hey, there's that too. <laughs> I hope you are all laughing at that. Once we start the meditation and we go in, I will be doing clearings and I will be talking. The only thing you have to do is follow the guidance that I'm giving. If at any point it becomes uncomfortable for you or just take a slow, deep breath in, allow it to release, skip over that part and go to the next part. I'm not here to change anybody's beliefs or destiny. I'm helping I'm here to help you on your journey of your destiny. I do believe we create our future by our thoughts, our wills, and our wants. That's why we are here. We are on a plane of expansion, and it is our job to help it expand. This is how we do that, by creating. Is everybody ready to go? I hope so. I hope so. Okay. I'm going to give a direction. Do the best you can to follow the direction. Don't get frustrated. Allow yourself to be in whatever space you are in. If you fall asleep during this, do not worry. The body is going to take what the body needs. Your subconscious mind will hear every instruction that I'm getting. And if there are things that you have subconsciously and consciously been wanting, the subconscious mind will put them out for you and start making that happen for you. Please stay away from I don't want or if you are creating tonight, which you are because you're here with me. Don't say the negatives. Stick with the positives of what you want. But if you do add a Let's say you're manifesting a man or a woman and you say, not like my ex. Don't worry that that ruined it. Just giggle and go and keep moving on. I'm going to give a little bit of time in between each manifestation. I am going to ask you to visualize. Again, don't try to visualize the whole thing if you can't. 
If you are trying to visualize something and you can't, just ask, just silently say, show me, and they will give you something. They will give you something. Your subconscious mind will pull something up. And believe me, believe me, if it's something that you want, if it's something in your mind, if it's something in your heart, that means it's for you. They're showing you what's possible for you here. Are we ready to go? Are we ready? I'm so excited for this. I'm so, so excited. Okay. The first thing I'm going to have you do is take a series of breaths. These breaths are going to be through in through the nose if you can. If you cannot, don't worry. Breathe through your mouth. I know I have... Um, always a stuffy nose, and that's okay. If you have to breathe through your mouth, do what works for you. The most important part of this is following the breath all the way in and down as far as you can, holding that breath for three, and then as slowly as possible, releasing the breath. Anytime you go into a meditation, this is the way to do it. When you follow your breath, you can't have thoughts. It'll take thoughts out of your mind. If at any time something comes up that you don't want to see, do it's off chart, allow it to play out, or just take the breaths and jump and, and get back into your personal visualizations with the meditation. All righty. Have at least two things, unless there's just one, you can do it twice. <clears throat> and if you have three things that you would like to manifest this evening, that's okay. I'm going to try to get to all three. I used to do this with people and within a week, so within, a, within a, a day, some people, within a week, most people, but some bigger things can take a little bit more time. So we're going to be patient in our outcomes also. <sighs> okay, <clears throat> here we go. Allow your eyes to close softly and gently. As your eyes softly and close, softly and gently close, allow yourself to take a very, very slow breath in. Follow that breath all the way down. Hold that breath for a second or two. And allow that breath to gently release as you follow it all the way out. We're going to start another breath. We're going to take that breath all the way in as slowly and gently as possible. And we're going to bring that breath down as far as we can. If it goes to the lungs, if you feel that energy go all the way down to your ribs or your belly button or even your root chakra, that's perfect. Once that breath gets there, intentionally hold that breath there if you would like to swirl it, you can. And then softly and gently release the breath very slowly and allow that energy to go out through the top of your head while you breathe out. We're going to take one more very slow, very focused breath in following it all the way down. And as we slowly and gently release that breath, following it all the way up and out. You can continue to breathe, following your breath in, and out, very gently taking those breaths in and out, softly and gently. I want you to know that any noises you hear, any noises at all, will simply take you deeper and deeper into this meditation. As a matter of fact, 
any noises you hear, phones ringing, people talking, doors opening and closing will simply take you deeper and deeper in. As a matter of fact, the sound of my voice, each and every word I speak will take you much, much deeper into that state of meditation so that you can achieve the goals that you are here to achieve. During this meditation, you will be allowing your imagination and your creativity to show you what it is that you want to create for your life. As you take another very slow, very deep breath in, and allow that breath to release softly and gently, I would like you to know that I'm simply going to count from three down to one. When I reach one, you'll be in a very relaxed, very comfortable state. As a matter of fact, each and every time I count three, two, or one, with each count, you will go deeper and deeper into the meditation, allowing yourself to see more clearly what it is you are now bringing into your world. I'm going to count from three down, two, one, now, just to let you see how that feels. Three, two, one. Perfect. Now I'd like you to use your imagination and I would like you to see or imagine in your mind something that you would like to bring into your life. See or imagine if you can only state what it is. State that. If it's an item, let's say a home, a car, money, what does it feel like emotionally, psychologically? What does it feel like to you? Feel that feeling you would feel if you had this. What feeling would that bring to you? Perfect. Hold on to that feeling. Now, what does this look like? Again, whatever it is for you, visualize at least one part of it while you're feeling that feeling. If this is a material item, what does it feel like tactically to you? If it's, for example, a vehicle, feel the seats, feel the steering wheel, Feel yourself pushing on the gas. If it's a home, visualize the room. Feel the floors underneath you. See how spacious and light. Feel the feeling of the safety and security in this. If it's money, feel the feeling of the money in your hands. Hold that money. Rub it in your hands or between your hands. One thing I like to manifest is pieces of gold. I like the way it's so soft and silky between my fingertips, yet very heavy to hold. I love the smooth texture of it. Whatever your manifestation is, whatever yours is, See it now. Feel the feeling of it emotionally, the joy, the happiness. Now I'd like you to take one more step in this. How would you like to receive this? 
what is the best way for you to receive this? Don't worry about anything. Miracles happen every single day. In what miraculous way would you like to receive this? In what miraculous way would you like this to be brought to you and for you? Take a moment to feel all of that. Make sure it feels comfortable. And while you do that, I'm going to clear anything stopping or blocking this from coming to you. I'm also going to clear anything, any limiting beliefs or programs with this. And we're going to clear any comfort zones that are not in alignment with this. Ooh. Feel how happy this makes you. Feel the joy of it. Allow yourself to immerse yourself within it. Allow yourself to have it. Now we're going to move into your next manifestation and don't worry, this one has already been put out. It's like you've put your order in, it's in the delivery process. Let's go to the next thing. Take a very slow, deep breath in, follow that breath all the way down. Allow that breath to release softly and gently as you follow it all the way out. I'm going to count from three down to one. When we reach one, we'll start the second manifestation in three, two, one. Use your imagination and imagine your next manifestation. I'm going to go a little bit different. Now, if you are imagining a manifestation of a home, a car, or money, follow the first guidance. If you are imagining a partner, please use characteristics, generalities, ask to meet this person naturally and organically. Make sure you're looking at the type of relationship that you would want with this person. And if you are a person who does want to get married, make sure you're manifesting somebody that also wants that. If you are manifesting health, and well-being, this is the time when you would bring white light, pure white light into you. Pure white light into those that you want health for. And allow that pure white light to do its job. Don't ask for specific things to be healed because what may be going wrong may be going wrong because of something else. For example, you can have a pain in the knee that's being caused by the back. So just allow them to go in and heal whatever needs to be healed and whatever can be healed. Take all the time you need to feel this. Whatever it is that you are manifesting. And don't worry if you cannot see what you are manifesting as long as you know what it is and it feels comfortable. Feel that feeling 
of what you are manifesting. Feel that feeling of having it. And while we do that, I'm going to double down. All that stuff is not blocking us from getting this. We're going to clear, heal, and release anything stopping or blocking us from receiving these manifestations. There we go. We are going to clear, heal, and release any limiting thoughts, beliefs, programs, any generational thoughts, beliefs, programs, any statements, anything we heard, saw, or took on while we were growing up, we're going to clear and release that now. Any generational cycles that we are repeating financially, relationship-wise, we're going to heal, clear, and release that now. <clears throat> Any fear of success and or fear of failure, we are going to heal, release that now. And any woe is me, self-pity, self-worry, self-loathing. I know that's not you guys, but just in case. Any victim mentality, victimhood, any fear of losing it once we get it, let's clear and release that now. Oh. Beautiful. We're going to go into our third manifestation. I'd like you to take a very slow, very slow, deep breath in, allowing yourself to go even deeper into this manifestation, following that breath all the way down. And as you gently, softly release that breath, following it all the way out, We're going to do one more breath for this one. Take that breath, that very slow, deep breath, all the way in. Bringing it down as far as you can. And releasing that breath as gently as possible as you follow it all the way out. Now I would like you to visualize light beautiful light coming in through your crown. This light can come in from, if you, if it makes it easier for you, imagine you're outside in the sun and a beautiful sun ray is hitting the top of your head. And as that sun ray hits the top of your head, Allow that light to flow in you, on you, and around you. And now I would like you to see that light, that beautiful sun ray light turning gold. Almost like speckles of gold are filling you. Pink, if you are manifesting love. Pure white for health green for healing, or all of the colors can come in at once. But allow that beautiful light to come in on and around you. Allow that light to go through every ounce of your being before we start this third manifestation, this third thing. And if you don't have a third thing, that's okay. Allow whatever comes to you to come to you. 
And here we go. I would like you to think of that third thing that you would like to bring into your life. I would like you to think of how you would like this to come into your life. Now I want you to feel it, whatever this is. And I'm just going to put some things out there. If these are not your manifestations, don't worry. You focus on what you're focusing on. If you want a new career, a business, your business to grow, see that now. If you don't want to manifest actual tangible money, see your bank account numbers getting bigger. See you go to bed with this amount and you wake up with even more, making money 24-7. Allow yourself to see this now. Again, if it's a tangible item, see that tangible item, feel it. Allow yourself to be in that space. where you feel it emotionally, the joy that this brings you, how happy are you with it? Allow yourself to feel the joy of having it. Allow yourself to feel what it feels like with this. Now I want you to see a door and when you open the door, everything you've manifested is going to be there. It may be in big boxes with bows on it. It may be the actual items. It may show up in whatever ways. Now if your items are not behind this door, don't worry. They are just not showing up for you in the way that you would expect. They may be showing up right now and coming in in a surprise way. So if you cannot physically see them when you open this door, you didn't do anything wrong. They're just going to surprise you. Now, before you open the door, I want you to say this or better to yourself. All of this or better. Thank you. Open that door and walk into this new life, these new creations, this new way of living. This is now your new reality. And you're going to allow that old reality, that old life, those old ways of being and thinking to fade away now. You're allowing that old way, those old thoughts, those old programs, all of that old reality to simply fade all the way away that no longer exists in your world. You're starting new generational cycles, new generational wealth. You are starting new generational businesses and ways of living for you and for anyone and everyone that will see that can follow in, whether you are related to them, know them, or do not. You are opening this door not only for you, but for anybody who may see you and say, look, he could do it, she could do it, I can do it too. Allow yourself to be in that space, to open that door now, and take all of this into you. Enjoy it. Allow it. Take a very slow, deep breath in. And as you release this breath, you have released all of this into the universe with a knowing and an understanding that this is now going to come to you. And it is. 
And when you're ready, open your eyes, allow yourself to come back comfortably. Oh. Okay, for those of you who have already opened your eyes, if you're in the YouTube chat, give me some, hey, how are yous? How'd it go for you? I am going to answer. You're welcome, Jay Francis. I love you. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I love being in this energy. It is the best energy. It is like pure goodness energy. I am going to answer some questions for everybody who might want some questions answered. So if you're still on the um, call log, I have a couple of minutes. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts. I love you guys so much. Grandma Kitty, you are welcome. Um, <laughs> You're funny, Jay Francis. Oh my gosh, the messages are coming in quickly. If you do have a question, please post it in the chat uh, while you guys are posting your comments and <laughs> you burped out. Okay, J Jay Francis is hilarious right now. That's old energy leaving, sugar pie. That's old energy leaving. Yeah, Jay is saying she burped out. Um, she burped out twice during this, and that's just old energy leaving. You might cough, you might whatever. Um, Heather is saying she got tingly. Heather, that is awesome. That's so awesome. I'm going to take a caller and see what their feedback was. 518. Um, what's your name? 518. Hi. Hey, what's Marie? your name? Marie. Marie, how was Hi. that? Uh, that was very interesting, and I, I really liked it. I um, I will say this. I've always had a very challenging time trying to meditate, but that actually um, was very mind-clearing. Um, it did help me focus on, you know, and manifest what I want. Um, and I tried not to be too greedy. No, oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm joking. No, um, and that... Well, well, I'm not joking, but I... Yeah, you know what? And that's the funny thing. I want to say this. So when I do the three or six week program, which I do a six week program or a three week program, mm -hmm. and I go over that in the program. And thank you so much for making that statement, because here's the thing. There's so much in this world like they didn't build just mm -hmm. one Bentley. Right. They don't build just one Mercedes. There are hundreds of thousands of them out there there's no such thing right. as, and that's why we're here we're here to create and to to expand this world and this is how we do it and this is exactly um how we do it so that's beautiful i love that you said that thank you and i'm so happy you were able to go into the space of meditation too that's beautiful thank you yes now it was beautiful thank you and this is the thing you can use this now um you can yeah. figure out where the starting point of the meditation is and then the the final point and now that you know you can just um go to the starting point and use this to get into that space and just, you know, manifest one thing or 10 things or whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest. And when you bring that light in that gold light and, um, or white light, that super powers it. It's like, it's like manifesting on Red Bull or something like that. Right. Right, <laughs> especially the white light for many. So, oh yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, love. Uh, thank you so much thank, for being a part of this oh, tonight. You're welcome. I do have. I don't yeah. know. Are you answering? Go right ahead. The ask question? a question. Yeah, okay. I can. I can do a question for you. Uh, thank you. Um, there's someone I am. I, I'm curious to know about maybe what's kind of going on with them. If you're able to, I don't know what you need. Okay, what's his first name? Jeff. Jeff? 
And um, yeah. I'm just going to, because there's only a little bit of time left in the show. Are the I two, know. Are the two of you together right now or are you on a, what's the situation between you two right now? Oh, I haven't really had a friendly conversation with them in quite a while. Um, and I'm just kind of wondering what's going on and if we, you know, will, I guess, reconnect as friends. And when I say friends, I mean genuine, not a, hey, how you doing, goodbye. Just genuinely friends. Uh, yeah, okay. So here's what I'm going to say, love. I think that something has mm -hmm. come into his life that is... Um, taking a lot of his time and energy. And I don't feel like it's going to go back to what it was because of that. Right. Um, so unfortunately. When you say come into his life, what do you mean? Like, um, I'm not sure. I'm not really looking at that. I'm just focusing on answering oh. your part of the question, okay. which is, are you going to go back to that? Um, not at this time and probably not in the future. I feel like it's it's always so sad when we are, you know, not able to have those friendships. But sometimes for whatever reason, we all we need to move away. And sometimes when we have those friendships, they're actually blocking us from move. And this is what I'm really getting for you is that is a pseudo relationship that's blocking you from a real one. And it's time for you to let go of that and just, you know, move into to 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 something new. If that makes sense, love. Okay. All okay. right. Thank you. Oh, I'm so yeah. sorry I couldn't give you the answer that you wanted. I hope that that was helpful, though. Okay, you guys, I'm going to see what's everybody. Uh, Grandma Kitty, I have. Oh, thank you so much. I'm a writer and actor. I love that, Grandma Kitty. You guys need to go to Grandma Kitty's page. She puts stories. She puts. um stories on her page go to her page and watch them you guys not that i'm the boss of you but if you're comfortable it's grandma kitty's halloween stories um i am a writer and actor i have written a screenplay am i on my path yes you are yes you're definitely on your path and um any spirit advice this was a great video oh Thanks. I love that. Thank you. I'm so happy you enjoyed it. Okay, Grandma Kitty, the advice they have for you is make a... I don't know if this makes sense for you. Don't be afraid to test the limits. I hope that makes sense. Like, I don't want to put my own spin on what that might be in testing the limits because the limits um, might be very different than what I would say. But if I were giving an example, not an exact, but maybe make it, you know, don't be afraid to go even beyond your limits a little bit of what, like you might think, oh, I need to keep it here, but then you can really do that. I do feel like you're going to have some luck with your screenplay. I'm going to tell you that. I feel like you're going to have tremendous luck with your screenplay. You need to get it into the right hands. And I feel like that in a month to a month and a half, if you don't get it into the right hands, somebody else is going to. I do feel that. And I do, I do understand that a lot of Hollywood or a lot of people are on strike right now that do that. That's only in one. You might find... You may find someone or a different venue that takes it on, okay? I don't know how else to say that. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm getting. Whatever that means for you, and, and I'm just going to say, because I, I'm, I don't like to give too many details in that case, because I might say this but it might really mean that and you if I'm giving you the message you probably know what that means when I say 
Uh, don't be afraid to test the limits. You're going to know what that means. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you, Grandma Kitty, for all your donations. Also, I love that so much. Thank you. It really does help. Um, Terry has a question. Any chance of... <laughs> Terry, you have asked this before. Um, as of right now, I don't think so. I'm so sorry to say that. I don't think so. I don't think there's a chance of you guys becoming that kind of couple. Um, if anything, it would be a matter of convenience, but I don't believe that's what you're looking for. I, I think you want something a little bit more solid. Okay. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am. And, and, um, so I, so I hope that helps love. I do. I hope that helps. Uh, uh, Jay Francis, so far the three readers, she asked to have all said the same thing. Well, that's awesome. That's good. More confirmation, right? That's good. We're all working with the same thing. That's awesome. Okay. So I am going to say I might have time to take, um, I don't know if I did 856. 856? Did I already do you? Uh, not yet. Okay. What's your name, love? I only have like Three minutes, so we have to be super quick about it. So what's your name, love? It's Rose Maria. Okay, Rose Maria. How, are you yet? how can I help I've you? I've been love? manifesting everything, money and all that stuff, so a new job and really I'm doing it all, so excellent. I and did you have a question, love? Uh what's well, coming up for either job or a newer relationship. So either one, whatever comes to you first. Okay, you said job first, so I'm going to go with that. I'm going to tell you there's, I feel like, and again, you have to get in front of the right type of job. I feel like you've been undervaluing yourself. Um, reach for something a little bit more is what I'm hearing. And when you do that, um, you're going to, uh, be, get, find find some some. How do I say this? You're gonna be in the right place at the right time and get that position. But don't keep going for the same type of positions you've been going for. Go for something brand new. Is what I'm hearing, love. And I hope that that is helpful to you. I hope that you um that 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 is uh good good thing. So a lot of times if we've always, let's just say, Ben, um, if we've always done this, we always apply for that, but it, reach outside of that and, and do that is what I'm getting. Okay. Pine Lake Apartments instead of sunlight, I imagined a light from the purplish orb I seen after my daughter died. Oh, I'm so sorry you lost your daughter. And went completely numb and tingled. Oh my God, I love that. And those orbs. 90 are, seconds. Oh, I wish I had like three more hours. Those orbs are um, loved ones and or angels that come and they 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 are with us all the time, all the time. Um, okay, you guys, thank you so much for being here for this special um meditation this uh new moon meditation if you like it and you would love me to do new moon and full moon please let me know i'll be happy to if you want me to just do more readings come on with more nights for readings let me know that i will be back wednesday at 7 p.m to answer your questions and take your calls you can again watch on YouTube or you can uh, call in with your questions. Thank you everybody for being here. I love you all so much and I had just an amazing time with this tonight. Thank you again.